Officer with a taser, put the knife down. Taser, taser. We want to make sure that our police officers can do the job that is required of them. And we found that quite often when a police officer has a taser and they attend an incident, deploying the taser is enough to make this person surrender and submit to arrest. That means that if we have more people with tasers, we can avoid more violent incidents and allow police to disarm people who can be potentially very, very dangerous in a way that is safe so that they don't get hurt, members of the public don't get hurt. And that will be, could give out a initial warning. You're going to make some uh, investments in terms of changing the current taser, the X26 that's now obsolete. Yeah. We'd have to change it up to the X2. So we'd already made some provisions in relation to that. Yeah. I think what I'd say is the public would realise that in the current climate, particularly the security climate, we're carefully looking at the equipment our officers have got. We want to give them the best chance to protect the public, protect themselves and make sure suspects are detained effectively. And so I would say this is the right use of uh, funds. It's where the public would expect to seals invest. So taser is a less lethal option, as are many of the things that the police use. So we can't always say, of course, that, that circumstances won't arise where people are injured. What I would say is that the device is subject to extensive examination by the Home Office. It's one of the few pieces of equipment the Home Secretary directly regulates. And that's based upon scientific evidence and medical evidence. So we are very satisfied, both in terms of the system that's been made available, but the system of training we give our officers, we absolutely minimise risk. And I would say in most cases the use of taser is actually safer to use than perhaps striking somebody with a baton uh, which was something that policing's had available for many years it is a much safer piece of equipment